It's now or never. You got lucky once, kid, but it won't happen again. The kid's down by the river. Go get him. You better sh- Red, it's now or never. Go get him! Put the gun down, kid. There you are. I'll get you, boy.
Okay, salam alaikum guys. For the end, I will be showing you my settings which I use with most of the gameplays which you saw with the Poco X4 Pro and Poco X3 Pro. Just pause this video. One very important settings uh, which I'm gonna show you uh, just right now, which you need to activate and don't miss it guys. Don't make a mistake. By the way guys, remember that you can just pause this video if I'm too quick. This settings. Instant V1 faster, but can result in higher than console frame rates in some games. Uh, if you have a mid range or low end phone, try to test this settings, guys. This is amazing. Poco X3 Pro can handle many games without the settings, but obviously, uh, you, you will have to use it with Poco X4 Pro, which has a weaker chip. It's in seriously, it gives you a lot of improvements in the speed, a lot of improvements. Of course, make sure to use OpenGL or Vulkan. Uh, a lot of games also run really good on Vulkan. A lot of games also work really good on OpenGL. Uh, 1X or 2X uh, native resolution. 3X for Poco X3 Pro. Can handle many games on 3X. The Poco X3 Pro since it has a Snapdragon 860. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna go here. These settings are also very, very important. You could disable the thread presentation if you want to do that and the hardware readbacks. You can install disable these two things or enable them. And regarding guys, the advanced, I didn't touch anything in advance. So I, there's no need to show you here. Everything is on the default in advanced settings. That's it, simple like that. Thank you for watching. All the buy links and download links will be in the description for gamepads and phones. Support my channel by shopping online with my links. And yeah, that's one of the best ways to support me. Have a great day.